Welcome to today's Big Brother Over the Top updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Kenny D. How are you even sleeping, man, with these awesome feeds and the election? You must be chomping at the bit for that debate tonight. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, I just want to say Kenny D is a big fan of Shelby, so... Yeah, all right. Um, if you guys want to be house guests today, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Yay, all right, so... Yesterday was freaking nuts, man. Uh, if you guys did not watch the shitstorm of yesterday's spoiler, you should definitely check it out because it's got a lot of important information in there. And um, you will not understand what's going on today if you didn't see yesterday's. So anyway, Shelby and Monty were on the hammock talking about the whole Monty, Justin, Scott drama from yesterday. And they're feeling like... You know, the dust is settling, and they're seeing what really happened here. They're feeling like Chrissy and Danielle were really the ones stirring up tons of crap. Scott wasn't even really involved in this situation, and Shelby's like, yeah, they're trying to pin everything on Scott and move the target on him because they found out that he was going to vote with us this week. So they were trying to take away one of our numbers so that we wouldn't have the you know, enough votes to do what we want to do this week. Which is funny because while this conversation was happening, Chrissy was upstairs talking to Alex being like, Scott needs to go. <laughs> so it's exactly what Shelby was saying. So then Monty is trying to turn this around on Justin. He's like, oh yeah, Justin is sexist and he's a homophobe and blah, blah, blah. And he's saying that he wants America to nominate Justin this week. I don't see that happening, but good luck with that. Uh, but it's interesting that they're saying that Chrissy and Danielle were the ones that, you know, took a situation and, like, threw somebody else in there to try and get them nominated. And I'm seeing some parallels to what happened a few days ago when Monty took that whole bathroom Justin stripping down thing and was like, Justin's gotta go. He's gotta go up on the block. We gotta get him out of here. He's a sexist. So, I mean, it's it's interesting that Monty is now like, whoa, look, what are you doing, man? <laughs> you trying to call me racist and all that stuff? So... Yeah, anyway, it's not the exact same situation, but there are some similarities there. All right, so then we've got Morgan up in the HOH room with Alex, and it's sister time. So Alex is saying, like, even with all this crap going on, we need to stick to the plan this week and break up the showmance. All those other crazies, we'll just let them continue to blow up their own games. They'll take care of themselves. Like, we don't need to go after Scott and um, Monty and all them and Justin. We'll just let them implode so then uh she's telling morgan you need to distance yourself from monty you need to stop sharing a bed with him people think that you're a showman it's putting a huge target on your back and it's just not good and also do you really want to be that close to monty right now with america voting on things <laughs> like really is that what you want so morgan's like no i totally get it i'm gonna stop you know what else morgan needs to stop doing eating damn Cheez-Its when she's a have-not. Ah! So during this conversation, she was chowing down on Morgan's HOH snacks, and yeah, she's a have-not. And she didn't do it on purpose. She was like, oh crap, like what do I do? Should I make myself throw up? So she apologized to Big Brother. I don't think she's gonna be penalized for it. If this was Big Brother Canada, the whole house would be on slop right now. <laughs> The whole damn house. Remember when freaking Raul grabbed Tim's burger out of his hand and he was just like, wow. It was hilarious. Uh, but anyway, I think she probably just got a warning this time. So 6 p.m. rolls around and the house kids gather in the living room for Christy's safety announcement because she got the care package this week and she gets to save a friend. So she decided, as planned, to use it on Jason. <gasps> That means Jason is safe for the week. He can't be put up uh, at all, even as a replacement. So he's good. He's golden. All right. So then Jason and Justin were celebrating after. And Justin's like, I'm really happy for you. For sure, for sure. But <laughs> he thinks that he's going to be going up on the block with Shane. And Jason's like, no, I think it'll be Shane and Danielle. I think you'll be okay. But, you know, if one of them wins the power of veto, you're probably going to be the replacement nominee. I'm glad that Jason is finally, like, seeing what's going on here. Because <laughs> sometimes it seems like he doesn't. But now, you know, he's got it down. So then they were saying they both think that Monty is going to be America's nominee. I think there's a good chance of that. I think it's definitely going to be one of the have-nots this week. So either Monty, Morgan, or Scott. But we'll see. 
you never know. I mean, there could be some kind of, like, Twitter campaign to get somebody from the other side up. Who knows? Um, so then 7 p.m., they have the safety ceremony. Put on your black passes. When Alex go up to the HOH room. So when they started, Jason's was already lit because he is safe for the week. And then, remember last week when they dragged this crap out over, like, half an hour? Well, this time they were like, uh, in the next five minutes, four people are going to be safe. So it was like, bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, and in order, Alex made Chrissy, Whitney, Neely, and Morgan safe. All right. So that leaves, you know, quite a few options still left uh, for part two. Okay. So after the safety ceremony, Scott is by himself in the backyard. This is kind of sad. He's been very, like, mopey the past two days. So he's like... Thank you, Big Brother, for casting me. And he's pretty sure that America's going to be nominating him this week. I don't know. It, I think it could be between Monty and Morgan, but there is also that chance that it could be Scott, especially with what happened yesterday. So he's saying, like, he got cocky, he got sloppy, he thought that the numbers were there this week to vote however they want. Apparently not. But he's like, I'm just glad that I got to meet Jason, Shelby, Alex, and Monty. <laughs> so then, you know, he ends his pity party, thankfully, and starts practicing the golf thing for the upcoming Power Veto competition. I, yeah, I just, I don't know if he's going to be up on the block because of America. I, I think America's got bigger fish to fry. I don't know. So then Alex and Morgan were chatting again in the HOH room, and they're wondering if America's going to nominate Morgan just to make it awkward for them, because, you know, they're sisters, and... People haven't figured that out yet. Um, so, like, if Morgan is nominated by America, I think the house guests are going to be kind of confused that it wasn't, like, Monty or Scott. Um, so that could create some issues for them. So then they're trying to figure out, like, what would we do if that actually happened? So they decide, like, when it comes down to it, whether it's this week or not, they're going to have to play their own games. Like, they're going to try... To help each other obviously but they can't really stick their necks out for each other too far because then people are gonna figure it out um, but you know they're willing to vote each other out if necessary that's interesting okay so they're saying again they still want to split up Shane and Danielle this week Morgan is saying that Danielle is the snake behind everything she's bringing up again how last week Danielle was able to flip the vote even though she was up on the block too and, you know, she's got a point. Danielle's got a lot of influence over her group. She's very good at persuading people to do things. So I do think she's a huge threat. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they take her out, though, over Shane. I don't know. So then Alex is saying, okay, say it's Shane and Danielle and you up on the block this week. And one of the showmancers wins the veto. She is saying that she would probably put up Scott to ensure... Morgan's safety this week but I don't know if that would work because I feel like the other side is thinking Scott is already like all over the place maybe we should just keep him in the house because they've got I think a better chance of pulling Scott back in than like getting Morgan to work with them so I feel like they would still want to take out Morgan if she was up on the block but I don't know I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think would happen if it was like Morgan, Scott, and say Shane up on the block. All right, so this morning, Monty got up really early and he was up by himself because that have not trampoline was just not agreeing with him. So we got a little Monty monologue in the backyard and he's upset about how things went down yesterday. He's like, people couldn't find anything wrong with me, so they pinned all these stereotypes on me. And then <laughs> he's bringing up how something similar happened to Cornbread last week with the Jewish comment. And he's saying, yeah, white guys with a thick accent. We did not have a chance in this game. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to get started on this. But he's like, yeah, I'm sad because I thought this country was more advanced. <sighs> I'm not going to touch it. All right. So there was lots of speculation today about who America's going to be nominating. We won't find that out until tomorrow morning before the Power of Veto competition. But it's looking like it'll probably be Monty, Morgan, or Scott. But again, you never know. I know a lot of people have been campaigning, like, on Twitter and stuff or on Jokers for Chrissy to go up. Um, because people don't like when one side gets too comfortable. So they could swing the other way and go after the others. I don't know. 
But also today, Alex got the HOH camera. It's pretty early in the week compared to other seasons that we've seen. But I guess since the schedule is so different now, they're just like, whatever. <laughs> Safety Ceremony Part 2 is going to be tonight, 7 p.m. Big Brother time. Make sure you check it out. Uh, it should most likely be Shane and Danielle going up on the block. And then America's nominee. The voting's going to open up. So make sure you guys vote for who you want to go up on the block. And uh, let me know in the comments who you voted for. So until tomorrow, much love.